Iowa. Two games in which the defense has really struggled. They allowed over 100 points in both contests combined. Yeah, that's right. Their defense has definitely been struggling of late, and they've been struggling with the multi-threat quarterbacks. And this this week, they're going to face another multi-threat quarterback in the form of Southern's McIntosh coming into the game with over 200 yards rushing. They're going to have to contain him if they want to have a chance in this game. The offense started to show some by a score of 38 to 10. Western looking to bounce back here today. And Adam, what does Western really have to concentrate on to get things back on track? Oh, well, first things first, they got to get the offense rolling. The offense only 10 points in their last two games. They've been struggling to score points, struggling with consistency this whole year. Josh Hudson went down in the second half of last week's game, as we mentioned before the game. And Will Lund actually did a good job, came in and moved the team down the field, got some points on the board. But first things first, like I said, offense needs to get going and also defensively they need to fix their struggles last week they gave up 417 yards to the Panthers and that was a week after giving up over 700 yards to Missouri and Sean over the middle has Morgan touchdown Western Illinois Josh Hudson fires a strike to Justin Morgan and it's six nothing Western Illinois could not ask for a better start to the ball game Josh Hudson hooking up with Justin Morgan who absolutely burns the defender Justin Morgan I believe his first touchdown reception on the season in the first quarter. And this is actually the first time that Western has not been trailing to start a ball game. Every single game this year, they've been down at least 7 0. Jacksonville, they were down 7 0 for a brief period of time before they had that 21 point run. And so, just a great start for this Southern Knight team. Now, the defense had to come out and stop this strong running attack that Southern boasts. You're right, Adam. The middle, he is in. He broke another tackle. Touchdown, Southern Illinois. That's right, and probably going to tie the game up here after this extra point, but the Leathernecks just cannot stop Hampton right now. He's running over everybody, and they have got to figure something out. Because if they can't control that, they're not going to have a good shot at winning this game. Right now, the scout opens this game with a bang. What a play for the Western Illinois fighting Leathernecks. Larry Patterson, I mean, Mike, you mentioned he has been doing a great job returning the ball this year, and he just absolutely sparks this team on the first play of the game. Nobody even touched him, I don't think, as he ran down the right sideline for an easy touchdown for Western Illinois. Getting off to a hot start, something this Leatherneck team. Sit a seven to nothing lead for Western Illinois. And we're taking a look at the replay here. This Larry Patterson, huge touchdown for Western Illinois. Sean, you mentioned they have not been off to a great start in, in ball game so far this year, but Larry Patterson is going to take this ball, and look at that, just a huge hole opened up by this team. He breaks one tackle, and that was all he needed to do down the right sideline, basically untouched, if not for the one guy. And Larry Patterson, the true freshman, the walk-on for this team, sparking them early, and Leathernecks up 7 nothing. 10, 10, 5, touchdown Western Illinois! Unbelievable play! Oh my, just give the ball to Terry and Krupp and let him do what he does. Unbelievable! Terry and Krupp all the way for six, and Western takes the lead with 26 seconds left. When in doubt, give the ball to the Lance. Intercepted! Raynard Hamilton! Unbelievable, and the Leatherneck defense comes up with the stop when they needed it the most. Reynard Hamilton with the huge interception, and Western Illinois is going to get their first victory against SIU in nine games. The ball is going to be Missouri State football. Man, and that's just so unfortunate for this Leatherneck team after that huge miss by Missouri State. We're going to take a look at the replay here, and unfortunately, we've seen this a couple times from Josh Hudson. He really just doesn't do a great job of controlling the ball when he's under pressure. And you're going to see here, he just tries to tuck the ball away, tries to avoid contact. The ball gets punched loose, and Missouri State now in business inside the 30-yard line to start this drive. It looks like Mikel. Zone for Daughtry, makes the catch, touchdown Leathernecks. What a pass by Josh Hudson. Daughtry just running into the zone of Southern Illinois there, gets behind the cornerback and in between the safety, and what a throw, like I said, by Josh Hudson, his second touchdown throw of the game, and the Leathernecks offense is clicking right now. That's Daughtry. Play there's Patterson down the far sideline, turns it up, he dives. Touchdown, Leathernecks. Unbelievable. Larry Patterson, what a play. Nobody covered him out of the backfield, and you said it, Mike, that wheel route completely uncovered, shows off his speed too, and we're gonna check out the replay. 
You're going to see Josh Hudson just fake it to Patterson. Nobody's going to pick him up out of the backfield. A throwback wheel route to Larry Patterson. Nobody on him. Showing off his fantastic speed. Runs it into the end zone. And if we can add this extra point, we're going to have a tie ball game here. And at who would have thought Larry Patterson, the retro...